Good morning, MK Scrapper UK here, bringing you a new video. And look at this nice little candy, 8kg condenser dryer. Looks perfect. Oh no, someone's got a great big hole in the bloody side. Look at that. <laughs> I was looking at it. Uh, the other ones usually you can take the sides off, but this is all one whole side by the look of it. So yeah, they've got a great big hole in the side. I don't know if that was to get to it, to look at it, or then maybe they need that sheet of metal for something. I have no, no idea, no idea. And look what someone dumped on my front. Bloody bike frame. Now, I'm going to have to assume it's one of my neighbours. Who else would dump a bike on the front, but you can see here, look. This is all wobbly. So that bearing's probably gone, which isn't hard to replace, and uh, the spokes are a bit wobbly too, so I mean I could fix that, but I might just strip this one for the parts, so parts would be brakes, uh, pedals, the seat if it's any good, the gear shifters, and the grips, alright, so... That's what I do if I find bikes or get bikes that are a bit. I mean, it's an Apollo, so it's not the worst bike, but yeah. So that's a nice price. I can only assume it was one of the neighbours. Who else? What the hell? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> a bit groggy this morning. Anyway, bike wheels. So where the sit is. There, the join. There are pins in there, which make it magnetic. So you get your magnet, and where it loosens, which is about there, you cut it on that side. Same there, cut it there. That bit goes in the dirty alley. All the spokes come off. Go with your steel or iron pile, whatever you want to call it, and the rest goes in clean alley, clean rolled alley. So there's a couple of wheels there, got to be processed. And that's what they look like when you get them out. Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm NK Scrapper UK, bringing you a new video. So, excuse me. Just got a couple of TVs we're going to tear down. But before I do that, Let's have a look at this monitor. <clears throat> so I was driving my kid to school and I just saw this monitor in the box just sitting there. Oh, we've got, we got power, we've got power. I can see the Acer signal, no signal, that might actually work. Yeah, so bring you in closer so you can see it. Like I say, I'm not hooked up to a PC. There you go. Looks a little fade, fadey, but you know, good knows how long it's been outside. Okay, so. That's the first one. We are going to be testing the LCD and LEDs out of these screens, just so you'll be aware. Get that working, it's five hour center on the market. Okay, we'll look at this one next. Blatant screen that looks like it's been punched. Okay, red light. There was a blue light there? It's gone to red light. Back on blue light. Okay. 
Uh, there we go. It's the logo there, Logic. So we know the power board's working and the backlight is working. And you can see the screen damage. Okay. Uh, where's that button? Well, let's tear that down. Okay, so as you can see in the back of this one, all we got is one main board, which is working. So uh, the power supply leads. Now that's free, I can put it through here. Okay, so the DVD, I couldn't um, get it to connect to the DVD, so I couldn't see it on the screen. So I won't be listing that, but I will be listing that main board. Uh, this board will go in my gold recovery board. Uh, the leads will, will list, as well as the speakers. And uh, that's about it for this one. And uh, I don't know if this LED or LCD will look in a minute. Okay, here's what we got. We have a Samsung blatantly got a broken screen, but if you have a look at this one, it's pretty much taped all around the edge. This is the one I think was new, and it got broken screen somehow. And it's lit up, not very well there, but lit up still the same. Excuse me. So we have a working power board. Nothing there. It's just a little button here. Can't see it doing anything. No buttons there, so just this on-off button here, I can't really, I can't see anything to do anything, so. Parts are still sellable, the main boards, the LCDs or LEDs, the feet, stand. Take it apart and we'll see what's what. Okay, similar to the one we just done. Just one main board. So we'll take off the screen front and see if we can photograph the LCDs or LEDs or whatever it is. And as you can see, I've got a photo with the LCDs working and with the crack in the screen as well. So they can see they all come on. Okay. When I list it on eBay. <clears throat> okay. Samsung. I can't remember if I've tested this one before or not. Let's have a look. Nope, oh, there's a red light here. I'm... Still red. Oh, there we go. Oh, I saw something then. Damn it. Any time today. Okay, it's flashing. Blatant broken screen, and that goes all the way.
So let's uh, take a photograph of it like that, broken screen, and then we'll open it up. Oh, and here we go. The back is off. So what's on this one? We got four boards. One, two, three, four. T-com board, power board, main board, power inverter board. Okay. So we're going to try and get the screen off next and show the lights working. And then we can list the parts. Okay, here's our next one, Toshiba. As we can see, there's a blatant smash in the screen in this corner. However, this looks like T-Con problem. So I won't list the T-Con. Main board should be okay. And obviously the LEDs or LCDs will be okay. So let's rip it apart. Okay, that's the back off. So, we've got our inverter, our power board, our main board. I actually can't see a teak on board. So, that's all right. We'll try and get the screen off now and uh, get them LEDs or LCDs, whatever it is in there, and get them lit up and take a photo of them. Okay, that's the back lights. Woo! Okay, this one is a Hitachi. Let's have a look. Okay, we've got red light down here, flashing. And broken screen. Okay. Let's get a photo of that. I wonder if we can see anything on this side. Um, buttons, buttons, buttons. Where are the buttons? Damn it. It's one of them little turn wheels on the side. I hate them. Absolutely hate them. All right, I'm going to rip it apart. Okay, so as you can see, this one's got two boards. It is making a horrible humming noise. But it's working. Okay. Let's turn it over now. Like obviously these ones are a lot brighter. You can see the brightness underneath, but I need to take a photograph of it. Okay, so a look at this one. So last one for today, it's Bush. We are plugged in. Oh nice big smash screen. <laughs> Yeah, nothing new. And it's gone off. Okay, I'm going to try and get a photograph of that screen. Rip off the back and we'll have a look. Okay, that's the parts off that. I photographed the LEDs while they were on. I've just got to take them off now very carefully. Put these with the backs, with the other stuff. Put this metal with my scrap pile. And that'll be it for that. So thank you for joining me in this video. I'm MK Scrapper UK. Please like, share, and subscribe. In our next video, we will. I know in the beginning of the video, we'll show all that stuff packed up, ready for our eBay shop, which is going to take me a day to list and weigh and measure and God knows what else. And oh, it takes a long time actually. And next week, at the end of our video, we'll be filtering out our copper, chlor copper two chloride solution. And looking at our foils and gold dust and stuff. And then we'll move on to the next stage with that. Uh, that should be ready next week for me to filter that. And we'll have a little sank in between. So let me leave you with this. Nice puzzle. Me and my son did. Took us about four days. Thousand piece puzzle. And you want to know what sucks? Uh, where is it? Where is it? I know it's here somewhere. One piece missing. <laughs> oh, it's one of his Christmas presents. We've only just gotten around to doing it, but he opened it before. So I don't know if it fell on the floor around here somewhere 
or in the room upstairs somewhere but we're one piece short now typical anyway thanks for joining me